1621-23 panel. Scene 1. A new council for governing New England in America is set up in Plymouth, incorporating all the old companies such as the London Virginia. Prime mover in the new company is Sir Ferdinando Gorges, one-time governor of Plymouth Fort and future first governor of Maine. Workmen are shown taking away the old sign and replacing it with a new one on their meeting house in Plymouth. The island house is on Plymouth's Barbican and is reputed to have housed some of the 1620 Pilgrim Fathers on their stay in the town before journeying on to New England. St. Budo Church on the outskirts of Plymouth has a number of tombs of the Gorgeous family and a monument to Sir Ferdinando. Scene 2 New England, 1621 The ship Fortune brings more settlers to the infant colony at New Plymouth, set up by the Pilgrim Fathers. The Pilgrims have had a desperate winter, with many starving. To help the English, Squanto the Indian guide shows them how to plant Indian corn. Meanwhile, Governor Carver gets Massaswat, the local Indian chief, drunk on brandy, and persuades him to sign a peace treaty with the pilgrims. Scene 3 Virginia, 1622 A motley crowd of settlers, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells is sent out from England by Thomas Weston. They are bound for Virginia, but stop off in New England. They cause a great deal of trouble for the genuine colonists by robbing Indians, not working and being drunk and disorderly, before being sent back home the following year. The Jamestown settlements also have their worst year when, during an Indian uprising, 350 settlers are murdered. Scene 4, New England, 1623. In New England, the pilgrims hear with dismay the reports of the massacre at Jamestown, and they determine to preempt any similar carnage in their territory. They are forewarned of Indian resentment by being presented with arrows wrapped up in a snakeskin. The pilgrims counter the threat by wrapping up a barrel of gunpowder also in a snakeskin and giving it to the Indians. Standish, the pilgrim soldier commander, then mounts a small expedition to track down and kill Wituwamut, the Indian chief, to frighten and subdue the tribes. This he does, cutting off Wituwamut's head to display on a pole, stabbing two under Indians to death and hanging a fourth. Top, Sir Robert Rich, soon to become president of another area to be settled in America, New Hampshire, hires a horse in Cambridge from Thomas Hobson. However, he has to take the first one in the stable line, i.e. Hobson's choice, not his own. Rich was a Cambridge graduate. Scene 5, New Hampshire, 1623. Plymouth shipowners Leonard Pomeroy, Nicholas Sherwell, David Thompson and Abraham Comer own the Plymouth ships to sail up the Pascataqua River in what will become New Hampshire. The first settlers are brothers Edward and William Hilton from London, and Thomas Roberts. New Hampshire is named by one of the pioneers, Captain John Mason, who was captain of the fort in Portsmouth, England, and who lived in the house shown in scene two.